Good afternoon, I'm Karen Kozia. Philip with your CNews update. Industrial Court Judge Deborah Thomas Felix is to give her ruling in writing in the contempt of court matter brought against the Chamber of Industry and Commerce. The Chief Executive Officer and other members of the Chamber appeared in court on Friday morning to face the charge. In December 2016, businessman Frank Mute, attorney Derek Ali, Chamber CEO Gabriel Faria and the Chamber itself were served with subpoenas by the Industrial Court after it was reported that its members blamed the court for low productivity, saying if businesses opt to fire an employee, they can be faced with wrongful dismissal rulings by the Industrial Court. Reports said Mr. Mute described the court as harsh and oppressive in its judgments against employers while favoring workers and their unions. He also suggested that the court's judges must have been brought up in Siberia under Joseph Stalin and that there was no tripartite but only one partite. The joint trade union movement later called for the chamber to retract the statement. However, this was not done. The Trinidad and Tobago Teachers Association says that several of its teachers at the St. Madeleine Government School are working in fear and are being disrespected by officials from the Ministry of Education. At a press conference this morning, the group's president, Lindsley Dudai, also addressed the issue of a student being robbed on her way to school. We were told was late for school and would have deviated from the normal route that students would use to get to school. And she would have been passing through an apartment block and she was held up by a group of persons wearing um, bandanas over their face and she was told to hand over her possessions which included money and cell phone. Okay, and I think she did that. She was told from what was told to us that she did not hand over the possessions, her possessions she would be raped. She did hand over the possessions. I understand, we understand here at Tutor that Someone raised an alarm and she was able to, um, to escape. That was your C News update. C News, your news, your country, our job.